I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm gonna start off with a repurchase and this is from LA Colors it's their liquid liner I had hauled one of these a couple weeks back and it's kind of my new favorite liquid eyeliner um, so it's this guy right here and it's just in the black um, I've been meaning to check next time I go into Walmart to see if they have any other shades in this style of liner. It's got a really thin brush tip and it's only like three dollars so you just kind of can't beat it. I've been using the Essence one for a very long time and I still love that eyeliner um, but it's got a little bit not I don't want to say shine but there's just a little bit of a shine <laughs> to it in comparison to this one right here which this is the eyeliner that I've got on this one's more matte and finished but it's not drying or anything like that and I find that it lasts really well on top of that and this is kind of my favorite style of execution in terms of liquid liner is to have a well with a brush tip applicator and this one is great it's got a nice thin brush on there nice and inky there's a nice amount of product in here too at 0.22 ounces so and again the price it's so affordable and I've tried liners across the spectrum high end low end everywhere in between and the LA colors one this one right here and the essence one which is like four dollars um, have been my favorite liners for a really long time so I really like this guy again that's the LA colors liquid eyeliner in black and I got three of them they're like three bucks so I can throw one in my bag this one actually I've used up quite a bit of it and then I got some backups. I also got the new Kylie Cosmetics Power Plush Longwear Concealer and I got the shade 2C. I was just not sure in terms of the shade range. The lightest one looked like super super light and I thought well maybe if I go down some shades this one might be too dark and it's actually still a little bit too light for what I like. I've actually got the um, Givenchy concealer on today um, but I've been mixing this with some concealers that are a little bit darker because this is pretty light and I want to check the shade range in the stores because I did order this online and I really like the formula. It has a thin consistency that's comfortable underneath the eyes but it covers really well so I would say it's a medium buildable coverage. So this is what the packaging looks like right there. You get a total of 0.16 fluid ounces of product. It says uh, vegan formula made in USA with imported imported parts <laughs> so that's the packaging and then again the shade I have is 2c I'll just swatch it right there um it does have I would say it's more of a peachy undertone than a pink undertone um but again the consistency is really nice and it's got great coverage while being comfortable underneath the eyes as well so yeah I'm probably going to get the next shade down with the cool undertone because I do like the formula again. So that's the new uh, Kylie Power Plush Longwear Concealer. And I did feel like it, it wore pretty long while still remaining comfortable underneath the eyes. I also picked up the two new nine pan palettes from Morphe. They just looked like really good one and done eyeshadow palettes and they are. So we've got Seize the Present Artistry Palette. There's 11.1 grams or 0.39 ounces of product across nine shades. And these are bulk formulated in Taiwan, pressed and assembled in China is what it says on the box packaging. So it's this guy right here. They also came out with the large 30 pan one, but I'm not sure about that one. I kind of want to see it in store. So I just like the idea of these smaller nine pans. So this is Seize the Present. Uh, these are one and done eyeshadow palettes for me. They got a good range of mattes and shimmers kind of across the range. And these shimmer shades, which are the two in the corners and then the one in the center, um, they're a little bit more of a stiff formula and I think it's a pressing thing. So you do have to kind of work a flat shader kind of in there to pick it up. But once you get them on the eyes, they are really nice and sparkly. So let's give you some swatches here. If you can kind of see that when I swatch this shade up in the corner, especially with my finger, it's kind of forming just a little bit of hard pan on there. So I'll get a flat shader and kind of wiggle my brush in there to work up the formula. And then these guys. Did I forget one? No, I don't think I did. <laughs> And then this last one. So that one right there is called the Seize the Present. Right there. 
And then the next one is the Share the Secret Artistry Palette. Same amount of product, 11.1 grams or 0.39 ounces of product across nine shades. And then this one is also bulk formulated in Taiwan, pressed and assembled in China is what it says. And this one is also, oh, there went the little uh, kind of paper thing that was over the top, but just a super great color story again. Um, kind of a little bit more cooler toned with some purple undertones in it. Same um, description that I gave the other palette in this one where I have to kind of wiggle my brush into those shimmer shades because they're kind of pressed a little bit hard but the shimmer in them is really pretty. You can kind of see that there. And then this guy. I just love how rich and um, like purpley undertoned those shades are. And then this last one. Really pretty color story. So one's like a warm and then one's a cool with purple undertones. So that one right there, what I say it was called the um, Share the Secret from the holiday collection. And then I did get the other two hourglass holiday palettes because these are just so collectible in their pretty little tins. <laughs> so I got the ambient lighting edit unlocked in, this one has got the jellyfish. I think it's just called jellyfish, right? Yeah, it's called jellyfish. So this is the box packaging. I do get along with the ambient lighting formula really well. And there are six shades that are 0 0.04 ounces or 1.4 grams each. And these are made in Italy. So this is the packaging right here. Here's the jellyfish. It just the box packaging mimics the actual packaging. And then there is a sticker on here. I might leave this on for the time being because I kind of have been stacking them and I will say that the tins on these they can tend to get a little scratched easy which is kind of the only little bit of a downfall to get scratches on that tin so I guess I'll just leave the sticker on this one I pulled it off the leopard but let's get her open it's got a little lip right here that you open up and this has got a bronzer for me two kind of finishing powders is how I would use those and then three blush shades um I wouldn't really use anything in here for a highlighter. I like a more blinding highlighter. And then this one just kind of, it's a little bit more subtle. But what I really like about these six pad palettes is it's really easy to mix and match the shades and kind of custom create one because they are so close together. And sometimes what I'll do for like an all over color is I'll take my finishing brush and I'll just swirl it across all of the shades lightly and buff it all over my face to kind of give a little bit more like color to my skin kind of like to finish it like that sometimes focusing on the lighter shades so I don't overdo it too much but let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches here this is a pretty bronzer too and then these guys I believe out of the three, this one is the lightest in terms of all of the shades. So that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit unlocked in the Jellyfish. And then we've got the Snake Ambient Lighting Edit unlocked. Same amount of product, 0 0.04 ounces or 1.4 grams across six shades. And this one is also made in Italy. So I'm just gonna leave again a little sticker on for a, a minute so don't scratch it up and then the same with the lip these shades here are pretty pigmented and I really like the colors from these ones right here you get like this super pretty like sun-kissed or burnt look that I really enjoy it's gonna be a beautiful one in the summertime and then this bronzer's also got kind of a reddened undertone and if, and if I want a little bit of shimmer with that bronzer, I'll mix it in with this kind of highlighty shade because it's too dark for me anyway. But really pretty rich tones in here. Super pretty colors. And the ambient products are just super easy to wear. And then these guys. 
I love the red undertone in that bronzer. I just want to make sure I didn't I'm swatch over that. So those ones right there are from the Snake palette. And then let me, since I've got these two up, let me go ahead and grab the Leopard and swatch that one as well so you can see them all together. Here's the Leopard that I hauled a couple weeks back. I've been using this quite a bit. It's the mid-tone one. So the Jellyfish would be the lightest. The Leopard, I would say, would be the middle tones. And then the Snake has got the deeper tones. If I were to like rank them in terms of... Um, depth and then these two shades do you need all of them especially if you bought like last year's no <laughs> but they're just super collectible and again I enjoy the formula so there is the leopard there is the snake and there's the jellyfish hopefully I can get them all in there for you guys get them up close a little bit And then I also got the two newest little mini palettes from Natasha Denona, kind of from their holiday collection. But I did just see that their um, Cool Tone, I can't remember the name of it, a new midi palette just launched, which I'll be picking that up. The colors look really beautiful. So I got the Baby Bronze palette. There was some more like packaging to this, but I don't know where it's at. I must have tossed it, but this is what it looks like. It was like a little hanging ornament. So this guy right here has got 0 0.028 ounces um, in each shade or 0.8 grams and it's just one of these little tiny guys it is not a one and done for me because there's not something lighter but I love the cuteness factor I would just have to even grab one like a little bit lighter kind of champagne shade to make it work these two are matte and the center shade is a really pretty shimmer and isn't it just the cutest it's called the baby bronze super pretty and then the other one is the mini starlet palette so this is a five pan palette 0 0.028 ounces per shade or 0.8 grams so the same amount as the little bronze palette so this is the outside packaging and then here is the actual packaging this is just enough to be an all-in-one for me even though like this could be just a tick lighter and this could be just a tick darker I can still get a pretty nice look out of it it's just a little bit more tame for kind of how I do my shadow, but quality is really nice in this guy as well. Yeah, I wish that that shade right there was just a tiny bit deeper for the crease, but I also wish these were magnetized. These two palettes are not magnetized inside. And then this shade right here. This is the shade I meant was a little bit deeper, just a tick deeper. Not that one. That's a good blend out shade. This one right here, just a little bit more depth than that guy, but it's got like a purple undertone to it. That's really pretty. So that one right there is the mini starlet palette. And there's the baby bronze. And then I placed an order on the Glam Light website for some of their newest launches and they also restocked this Rick and Morty highlighter trio. I love the more recent highlighters that Glam Light has come out with. The Scooby-Doo Duo one with the large pans is one of my favorite highlighters. Um, so I got this guy and it's stunning. This is what I've got on my cheeks. I, I went a little overboard. <laughs> so I'm like super, super shining because I just wasn't sure. So I just kind of went in heavy handed and I was like, whoa, boom. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bright, but the colors in here are so, so pretty. Um, very high shine. So if you don't like high, high shine, you might not like this guy, but I love it. So there are 10, there is 10 grams or 0.35 ounces of product in here. This is the box packaging. And then it says it's made in China. And then the actual packaging is a cardboard with a magnetic closure. And then you've got these three stunning 
highlighters. This is the shade right here that I've got on the top of my cheeks, and it's such a unique, pretty highlighter. Um, gosh, sometimes like I get tempted. I'm like, should I buy a backup of that? Because <laughs> it's so pretty. Look at how, oh, so, so stunning. When I bought the eyeshadow palette, this was sold out already. And so I was so happy to see that it was something that they restocked. But yeah, again, this is the one that I'm wearing on my highlight points today. And it's so shiny and so pretty. It's got like this unique kind of multifaceted bluish purple to it. Just really, really pretty. So that guy there is the Rick and Morty highlighting trio. Also watch the Ghost Face Highlighter Duo right now too so you can see the um, shades all together. So I picked up the Ghost Face Highlighting Duo. <laughs> so this guy here has got 2 times 4.8 grams or 1.7 ounces per shade. It's a, They're larger pans or there's more product per pan in this guy. This is what the packaging looks like right here and this one is also made in China. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's like the little scream ghost guy on there and it shifts so it's... It's got one of these deals on it and there is the back and hopefully you guys can see I think you will be able to yeah you can see the ghost face with how they pressed it is in there and then a knife um, I've got a bit of this guy on the inner portion on my eye because the eyeshadow palette I needed something a little bit brighter for how I like to use stuff um, but should we destroy him <laughs> To really get a good swatch, yes, we will. This is so pretty. Both of these are absolutely stunning. This one here has got more like sparkly bits in it, um, and this one's a little bit more smooth in terms of kind of the textures. And swatching them all together now, I can kind of see that these ones here are more like glazy, the ones from the Rick and Morty. These ones here have a little bit more, they're not like dry, but they're not as like silky to the touch as the Rick and Morty ones, but they're still pretty. And you can see with them all together that the Rick and Morty ones are a bit more shiny as well. But that one right there is the Ghost Face Highlighter Duo right there. I also picked up the Ghost Face Horror Blush. This is the packaging on this guy. And we've got 0.28 ounces of product and this is also made in China. And that's a lot of product for a blush and this is so pigmented. You definitely wanna use a really airy, fluffy brush when you go into this because it is some serious pigmentation. So it's got the same little sticker on the front that kind of shifts. And then you've got him also embossed in the pan. You can kind of see it. And then let's give you, I, I just barely have to touch it and look how much pigment comes off. And this is very, very, very finely milled as well. And it gives that real, again, sunburnt look, but you, you do have to be careful because again, it is super pigmented and very finely milled. So that is the blush from the collection right there it's called the Ghost Face, I think just blush. <laughs> And then they also restocked the Chucky Blush Duo. And it must have been a blessing in disguise that I missed out when it sold out because they had the same colors in the pans. They had something with go on with, I think, production or something like that. And then this restocked one has got two different shades in it. So I'm getting two different shades. <laughs> and this is actually the blush that I have on my cheeks today. And these are also very pigmented. <laughs> so light airy blush on, or brush on this one as well. Eight grams, 0.28 ounces. This is the box. Um, this one is also made in China. And then here is your packaging right here and how it kind of shifts. And so this is the blush up here that I've got on my cheeks today. And again, it's very pigmented. It's a little bit more strawberry in comparison to the ghost face blush. A little bit more pink in that guy. The original launch I think had two of this pink shade that were in there. And that shade was super trending at the time too, so it sold out super fast. So there's the Chucky Duo right there. I just can't, I can't, I can't stop looking at those. They're just so stunning. I love that Rick and Morty one. So that is the Chucky Blush Duo right there. 
And then lastly is the Ghost Face Eyeshadow Palette. And this is actually the palette that I've got on my eyes today. I really, really like the Glam Light Eyeshadow Formula. So this one here has got a total of 16 grams or 0.56 ounces of product. And it's also made in China. And that's across 15 shades. So this is your box packaging that it comes in. And this also has got the Ghost Face on there. And the fun little sticker cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. I love this color story. What would really have drove this guy home for me is if there was a matte brow bone highlight and then a little bit lighter shimmer. It would have just, oh, it would have just gave me all the feels. <laughs> so I used the Ghost Face Shimmer Highlighter on the inner corner and then I grabbed a um, matte single eyeshadow underneath the brow just to kind of ground it down a little bit because everything in here is mid-tone or deeper, but the shades are really pretty. Give you guys some swatches. Oh, look at these. Stunning. And then these next ones. These guys and these dark shades do have different undertones but I don't think that it was necessary to have like all of them there was definitely room kind of for some lighter ones in those because like look <laughs> you know they could have switched up a couple of those darker ones for sure to make it a little bit more cohesive but and then these last three and I know the idea is to be like you know, super dark, which it is, but it could also be dark and still cohesive. Oh, my camera. Just trying not to focus. But I do really like the tones in here. I just wish it was a one and done for me as well, but it just kind of isn't. Great formula though. So that is the Glam Light. What officially are they calling it? The Ghost Face Palette for face and body is what it says. So I'm guessing some of the shades are not eye safe. Usually when they throw face in there, like a you know, an eye looking like an eyeshadow palette face, there's some shades that probably aren't eye safe, but look how pretty those shimmers are. So there's that guy right there. And then lastly, I did get in a PR package from Buxom with some of their kind of holiday sets, which I do really enjoy the Buxom lip products. So this says limited edition game on collection. And I always love when the uh, packaging has got like my name on it. I feel special. <laughs> so it says level up your holiday looks and then Tara on there. The card says, hey Tara, game on. As we enter the holiday season, we're excited to share an assortment of our favorite kits from Buxom's limited edition game on holiday collection. Unlock next level lips with some of our best selling lip plumpers and level up your gifting game with uniquely curated kits for everyone on your list. You'll be sure to be the holiday MVP. XO your buxom babes. <laughs> That's what it says on there. And it appears that uh, there are six sets um, that came out with this collection. I have got three of those sets to share with you guys, but just so you can kind of see the sets available right there and what the card looks like. So we've got the Buxom Player Eye Kit. So this has got the mascara and then also um, a Powerline Lasting Eyeliner. And the mas mascara is just called Lash Mascara. And I've tried both of these products before and they are nice products, but for me with my watery eyes, um, the liner just doesn't stay. I have a problem with that across the board. So I don't necessarily wanna say it's the eyeliner, but I think that my mom's really gonna like that because she does use a liner like that on the skin on the upper lash line and her lower lash line. Um, more in particular for me, it's the water line because my eyes are so watery. They last better on the skin, but the, the water lines that are watery. 
not so much and then the mascara is a nice mascara too but I do like a little bit more volume and if I spritz my face I'll get a, a little bit of smudging on the inner corners as well somebody had said to um, spritz my face before I put on mascara and that's that's a you know that's a great idea but the thing is is I will spritz my face throughout the day because I have that drier skin type so it doesn't necessarily work for me quite like that but that is a good idea if you just do that one um, face spritz for the day to kind of set your makeup to do your mascara afterwards if you might have a smudging issue so this is one of the little sets in there and then the next one is the personal best plumping lip kit so this has got hot toddy and blushing margarita so the full size full-on plumping lip cream is hot toddy and then a mini full-on plumping lip cream in blushing margarita and those look like really pretty shades let me get them out to go ahead and swatch them for you guys oh yeah these are really pretty Okay, so here's the full-on plumping lip cream right here. It's a really pretty pink. And Buxom products do have kind of that uh, minty, it's like a sweet mint though um, in there. So I know not everybody likes that and you do get tingling from some of these products, but I never find them to be too much. The mini is the full-on plumping lip cream in Blushing Margarita. I just like to smell them because I love the scent. So that's the mini right there. It's got a little bit more pink in it in comparison. I thought that one was pretty pink until I swatched it next to the blushing margarita. So that is the products in that little set. And then there's also the Buxom for the Win Plumping Lip Set. I always see the holiday lip sets like this from Buxom and think, gosh, for people who love the lip products from Buxom, they have really great gift sets for a good value during the holiday time. So I think this one is no different. So this one's got one full size of the Plump Shot. And I have got, I think, three shades of that. I bought three of them when they first released. I originally bought one and then I liked it so much that I went and got two more. And out of all of the Buxom lip products that I've tried, that Plump On, product is the one that has the most tingle on the lips so if you don't like that that one's going to tingle the most out of the buxom ones that I have tried and I do notice when I use the plump shot quite a bit I get a little bit of dryness on the inner portion of my lip for whatever reason and I think it's probably a bit of that tingling sensation that might do that um, but I just wanted to make mention of that so I might have a little bit of sensitivity to it even though it looks like so like juicy and pretty on the lips but um, there are also five mini full-on plumping lip polishes in here as well so let me get them out and swatch them for you guys so the plump shot is in get naked which i do not have this one so that's good so here is get naked in the plump shot formula and this is a full size that's in there it's a warm nude color and then we've got the minis in white russian sparkle which white russian is like one of their top sellers oh, this is such a pretty color i might actually take this and put it straight into my bag so that's white Russian sparkle right there I think actually that that's what that's where that one's going <laughs> and then we've got Ryan this one's also got some gold sparkles in it so here is Ryan and then we have Dolly which this is another one of their like OG shades this is Dolly a cool tone pinky mauve and then we have got Natalie this is like a strawberry red with like pink sparkles in it still really wearable though so that one right there is Natalie and then the last one in that set is Gabby which is it looks like kind of like a metallic kind of finish So that one is Gabby and those right there are all of the shades that are in the For The Win Plumping Lip Set from Buxom. And a huge thank you to Buxom for sending over some of their holiday sets. Like look at the shine. And that is everything that I have for my haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.